What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrail.com. Today we're gonna be checking out these steak pocket tie down mounts from Brophy. They're gonna go right here into the steak pocket. You see you slide right in there. They're held in by this pin at the bottom, giving you tie down points wherever you need it. You see there's a couple different steak pockets on the side of this trailer. The good thing about not making them permanent is you can move them around. So we can just pop that pin, move it over here. If we have more load up here or we have different stuff we need to tie down, it's really up to you. Let's check it out. Let's get some measurements real quick to make sure this is gonna work with you and your trailer. So what I'm gonna do first is measure the insert. That's gonna be a little bit under three and a half inches. So as long as your stake pocket is three and a half inches or bigger, it's gonna work just fine to slide in there. The other one we wanna get is the measurement down to the pin. And that's just because depending on how long your stake pocket is, it may not work. So we had one earlier today, this was a little bit shorter. So when we drop this in, the hole was over here in the stake pocket. So you couldn't get the pin in there to clip it to secure it and then you can't use it so getting that measurement looks like six and three quarters so as long as your steak pocket is six and three quarters and shorter it's going to work just fine another measurement that'd be good is the inside of the d-ring here up on top it's going to have three inches of space on the inside so that's what you're working with keep that in mind with your straps you got a breaking point of 12,000 pounds. So keep that in mind also when you get your straps. You want to make sure that the hooks are going to work in this D-ring and that your straps are going to hold up to that weight that you're going to strap down. This is what it going to look like when you get it. It's really simple to use. Just slide it down in your stake pocket. You see, like I said before, you want to make sure that hole is exposed so you can run the pin through there to the other side and add the clip. And once you do that, it's not going anywhere and it's ready to use. Now we're ready to hook up our ratchet strap. Now this D-ring is gonna be 5 eighths of an inch of a diameter, so just keep that in mind. Again, with your strap, making sure that's gonna fit around there and be able to be tightened down. So we know that one's worked. We already had it tightened down. So let's pull the hook down. Looks like it jammed up a little bit up here. It's my fault. It's a little bit more to wrap around and hook it there. The other good thing is it is black powder coat steel, so it's gonna hold up and not get scratched super easily when this metal is making contact with the metal. So now that's all lined up, I can take out some of the slack and then ratchet it down. And as you ratchet it down, you see it's gonna pull up on that stake pocket, and that's okay, because that's what that pin's for at the bottom, so it's gonna hold it in place. Now we got it nice and tight. Overall, really easy to use, really easy to install. I like that they're not permanent, just because, like I said before, you can move it to a different pocket if you have a load in a different position, then you're more worried about strapping it down. It's gonna be very versatile. You can use it wherever you want on the stake pockets. And I think it's going to work really well. Well, that does it. Thanks for hanging out and hope this helped.